In this video, we're going to learn some tricks regarding buffer calculations, mostly when it concerns to concentrations and its relationship with pH. Let's, so let's start just solving this problem, in which it says that a buffer solution with ammonia and its conjugate acid, ammonium ion, has a pH 8. And the question is, is there more ammonia or ammonium ion in solution? First of all, Notice that the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation relates to pKa, log of base, that is concentration of the acid, sorry, the base over the acid, all right? The pKa of, of course, the acid can be calculate, calculated by just subtracting 14, subtracting 4.5 to 14, that's 9.5. All right. So it says that your pH is 8, the, PA, the pKa is 9.5. All right. So let's just find out the fraction. If this is log of the base over the acid, so this is 8 minus 9.5, which is minus 1.5, is equal to log of B over A, or if you will, 10 to the negative 1.5, that is much smaller than 1, B over A. All right. If, if this is supposed to give a number smaller than 1, it means that the denominator is larger than the numerator. That means there is more acid than base, which kind of makes sense, right? If when you have 50-50 uh, distribution of acid and its conjugate base, you have a pH of 9.5. If you are more acid than that, it's because you have more acid. All right. How much? Well, to the point that you have close to 10 to negative 2, that is 100%. Uh, 100. So 100 times more acid than base. Almost 100 times more acid than base. The rule of thumb here is that one unit of pH is equivalent to a factor of 10 more acid or more base than its conjugate. All right. Just to give you a rule of thumb that a displacement of pH of this much, it implies a large difference of, between acids and bases.